Hey guys, this is Troy with my CNG guy. Just um, here with Brent today. We just did this beautiful, beautiful Saturn. He actually bought the kit from me, and uh, just came by to get another kit and showed me his car. And I could, I begged him, said, "Hey, we got to do a video on this. This is beyond." professional so anyways we're going to show you what he did he's going to walk it through you and show you each little step how simple it was to fit in these kits um, and he did probably the, one of the best jobs I've ever seen on a vehicle so the great little Saturn so I'm gonna hold the camera and he's going to tell you what he did we're gonna start here with the rear and obviously we want to make sure you put a CNG emblem on anytime you convert just so uh, anyone so uh, emergency responders can know that they're also dealing with uh, a CNG um, gas on there. So Brent, you want to start us off with your amazing fill nozzle? Alright, yeah this is where I prefer to always put the fill nozzle if at all possible is in the fuel door and it's worked out really well. Just right there above the, the gas uh, and we can take this off real easily and have access to both. So he still has room. I find that it probably about run 50-50 on my ability to put it in the uh, fuel door, but when possible we love to do it that way. A little more labor, that's for sure. Here's the tank. Um, it's well secured in the back. We've got plate steel underneath and we used the existing carpet and just secured it above there uh, so that it will stay in place really well. It fits the vehicle just like it was made for it. So the tank's obviously behind the carpet for you guys. And here's the valve. So I'm going to come around the other side, but here's the valve. I'm going to show it from here, uh, Brent, if you want to describe what you've done. Uh, the bag you see on there is the 6 mil or 8 mil plastic clear bag on there. He's removed the clamps just to uh, so I can uh, slide it back a little bit and show you what he's got. But he's got three lines coming to it. It's got a line um, feeding from the bottom which is going to the front of the vehicle. It's got a line right here going to the fill nozzle and, and, and then a pressure relief device um, on there as well. The pressure relief is coming out behind the fender shield and back toward the back of the vehicle. Perfect, so we're not able to see that, but here's the tank right here that we were referring to. So there we go, a nice new one. Okay, we've got our switch right in the console for easy access. And you see this little manual, so you're getting what kind of fuel economy on this? We got 36 miles per gallon on CNG. Amazing. And uh, Brent does a great job. He puts his computers inside. I put mine under the hood typically most of the time, but he's got his underneath here. Um, a little more drilling, a little bit labor, uh, more labor, but a beautiful install. And you can see the regulator. You can see where the uh, high pressure line comes up from the tank right there. So the white tubing's your high pressure, ties in right here to the regulator. There's your gauge. And then he has his feed coming right here out to, we follow that through, we go through our filter, and then we follow that to our fuel rail, which is right here. And this is a four cylinder, so obviously one fuel rail. Here's our vacuum line, which goes, follows that down to the splitter. The splitter, one ends to the regulator, one end goes to the um, intake, manifold. intake manifold, and this other one finally goes over to the stepper motor, excuse me, to the uh, map sensor. Um, Go ahead, keep going. We've got the map sensor right here. And it's mounted right there. Okay. Um, we've got the, the main fuse right here for easy access. Um, and it turned out real nice. We've got the fuel rail mounted right there so it doesn't move. And let's see if we can get a good shot of these uh, injector nozzles. A couple of them there we go. So this... <coughs> There's the tubing running right to the injector nozzle, and it's uh, and there's the the dark black is the actual intake manifold, and he just drilled right into the plastic, left the manifold intact, and uh, just just drilled right in, and um, pretty simple. Yeah, just put a little bit of grease on the bit and on the tap, and didn't get any shavings in there. I don't think collected the majority of your plastic yep. shavings on plastic. We just drill right through. But we find if we put a little grease on the tap and on the drill bit, we'll, we're able to collect right, um, the majority of the shavings as we about ready to break through. We dip it in grease and then continue to, shave, to drill through. So any check engine lights with this one? Uh, no, nope. it's, it's been really good with, with keeping those off. We were getting about 36 miles per gallon on CNG. 
Okay. Uh, which is almost the same as we get on gasoline. So okay. It's, so it's been really efficient. Awesome. Plenty awesome. Plenty of power. And it's going real smooth. And this kit right here, four cylinders, the $800 kit. And um, easy to install. This one, now that you've done, what, what do you think the second kit, how long do you think it's going to take you to install it? Um, I think it's about 20 hours. 20 hours yep. with tank, everything. Yep. Okay. I, I recorded my time. I was 20 to 25 hours total. Okay. Well, yeah, and the tank you would think is how much of that time? It's uh, a one good, third. A good eight to ten hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The tank, the tank is where, especially doing stuff like he did, doing it correctly and doing it with the uh, fill nozzle on that door, little things like that can can eat uh, eat away a lot of your time. We do have one nozzle that we put underneath the hood. Um, typically, that's we refer, refer to that as the inline fill nozzle. And um, but again, every time you want to fill, you've got to open your hood. Um, so anyways, that's what we're, that, uh, we also have a diesel kit out, out now, um, that is really, really popular, and, um, anything else, any other thoughts that you want to share with anyone here? Uh, no, we just did the computer adjustments. Okay. Um, so that everything switches Can I show over. You? Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so we, here, I'm sorry, the mystery guy, I don't know if I had his face, I didn't ask him, hey, you want to be on camera, so no problem. what else so, would you say, Brent? So yeah, we uh, did the computer uh, adjustments, and mm -hmm. uh, we had to drill the, the nozzles out on the fuel rail and just get everything fine-tuned, Okay. but now that we have, it was real easy to do, and it's... Uh, it's the vehicle of choice for the family now. Yeah, yeah well, absolutely, of that savings. Let's uh, crank it up so they can actually hear it run on CNG, and you can do the walkthrough on that one. And I'll try to get this light. So right now we know it's on... Uh, good. It's, it takes just a little bit to switch over. Yeah, well, we haven't About raised 15. RPM yet. There it is. And it's clicked solid green. Go ahead and cut it off, Brent. Or just the CNG, I was thinking. Oh. Okay, so right now the flashing green light indicates that it's not on CNG. So we're on a rev it, and then it gets over the threshold, and the solid green light says we're on CNG. Right there. So, guys, that's it. Let's, uh, I'll keep it running. And you may hear these little injectors right there. And it's running on, C running on CNG. So, guys, that's it. Give me a call. Again, I'm Troy, myCNGguy.com. Uh, and uh, you're welcome to call me at 801-687-7788 if we can help you with anything. And we've got a lot more stuff coming down the pipe as far as doing uh, large tractor trailers with diesel CNG mix. And um, anyways, it's just fun. We're creating a lot of stuff in the in the lab. Anything else? That's it. Happy customer? Yes, sir. All right. Appreciate it.